a large glass. If there's plenty of room on either side, do you have to come bullying in here between us? I didn't see you. You interrupted a very important discussion on serious matters regarding big things. Me and my brothers don't like it. Gentlemen, gentlemen, no trouble, please. What's eating you, tall man? Did you have words with those Baker brothers? Who? Those four rhinos. No. Just told around they're quarrelsome citizens. Gentlemen, let's consider the incident closed. Watch our tempers. Maybe I ought to go apologize. More whiskey. Be right back. Oh. It's getting late. Good afternoon. Here we have a quiet little motel. Uh, let's go along to cabin number one. I want to show you something there. The bathroom. You should have seen the blood. The whole, the whole place was, well, it's, it's too horrible to describe. Dreadful. Well, the murderer, you see, crept in here. Very slowly, of course, the shower was on. There was no sound. And, uh... What do you want? Get out of here or I'll call the Go police. Go ahead, call. Going on a trip, huh? Yes. Going away for the weekend. Sailing for Buenos Aires tomorrow, some weekend. I'll send you a postcard. Now get out of here. Who are you going with, George Reynolds? I heard of him. I suppose you've never heard of Eugene Phillips either. Just who are you? What do you want? Never mind who I am. Where's Reynolds? If you think you can scare me, you're crazy. Look, I know that Phillips came here yesterday. And right after he left, he was pushed out of a six-story window. Pushed? Phillips committed suicide. Your playmate Reynolds murdered Phillips. And then he went up to San Francisco to get me. Because I knew about a certain bill of sale. I don't know what you're talking about. You're in this right up to your pretty little neck. Get your hands up. Give me your wallet. Frank Bigelow. Which I like. Oh, I know where's Reynolds. I don't know. I don't know where he is. Yeah? Who's paying for this trip? I am. The first class trip to Buenos Aires on a model salary. Don't make me laugh. If I were a man, I'd punch your dirty face in. Rather large. Brother, is that all? Well, of course it ah, is. Ah, no, young sir, you're too simple. You might have said a great many things. For example, thus. Aggressive. I, sir, if that nose were mine, I'd have it amputated on the spot. Descriptive. It is a rock, a crag, a cape. A cape? Say rather a peninsula. Kindly. Ah, do you love the little birds so much that when they come and sing to you, you give them this to perch on? Cautious. Take care. A weight like that might make you top-heavy. Military. Beware. A secret weapon. These, my dear sir, are things you might have said. But wit, not so. You never had an atom. And of letters, you need but three to write you down. A. S. S. Help me, Clarence, please. Please. I want to live again. 
I want to live again. I want to live again. Please, God, let me live again. George! George! You all right? Hey, what's the matter? Now get out of here, Bert, or I'll hit you again. Get out of here. What the Sam Hill are you yelling for, George? You... George. Bert, do you know me? Know you? Huh. You kidding? I've been looking all over town trying to find you. Hey, your mouth's bleeding. Are you sure you're all right? What the... <laughs> My mouth's bleeding, Bert! My mouth's bleeding! Zudu pedals. Zudu... There they are! What do you know about that? Merry Christmas! Well, Merry Christmas! You're insane. The cellar's the safest place. I'm telling you, they can't get in here. And I'm telling you, those things turned over our car. Oh, hell, any good five men can do that. That's my point. Only there's not going to be five or even ten. There's going to be twenty, thirty, maybe a hundred of those things. And as soon as they know we're here, this place is going to be crawling with them. Look, you can do whatever you like. I'm going back down to the cellar, and you better decide. Because I'm going to board up that door, and I'm not going to unlock it again, no matter what happens. Once more, we'll close the wall up with our English dead. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, conjure up the blood. Then lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let it pry through the portage of the head like the brass cannon. Let the brow overwhelm it. Now set the teeth and stretch the nostril wide. Hold hard the breath and bend up every spirit to his full height. Cry God for Harry, England, and St. George! <laughs> you now to Lakehurst, New Jersey. The ship is riding majestically toward us. It's practically standing still now. They've dropped ropes out of the nose of the ship. The back motors of the ship are just holding it uh, 
just enough to keep it from the first in the flag. Get it started, get it started. It's flashing, and it's flashing, it's flashing terrible. Oh my, get out of the way, please. It's running, bursting into flames, and, and it's falling on the morning fast, and all the folks between us, this is terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's four or five hundred feet into the sky. It's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now, and the flame is crashing to the ground. Oh, the humanity is still. from the stables. My horse is gone. Your horse is gone? I believe it was stolen, Baron. How dare you take that tone with me? I don't mean to be abrupt, but I will have answers. Well? Now, why did you remove the portrait of the Baroness from the wall? I sent it away for renovation. The, the dampness of these walls puts a mold on the pigment. Can you also explain the violin music and the girl in the chapel last night? You saw her again. So you admit there's a girl? Ilsa. Ilsa, is that her name? Answer me, Baron. Please, please, leave me in peace. If I leave you now, Baron, I will come back with a company of my men and I will tear this place down around your ears until I find her. Is that clear? Very clear. <laughs> You! 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 You're too fine! You won't have none of me, but you'll sit here all night looking at your naked females. Mildred! You cared! You dirty swine! I never cared for you, not once. I was always making a fool of you. It made me sick when I had to let you kiss me. I only did it because you begged me. You hounded me, you drove me crazy! And after you kissed me, I always used to wipe my mouth. Wipe my mouth! But I made up for it. For every kiss I had a laugh. <laughs> we laughed at you. Miller and me and Griffiths and me. We laughed at you. Because you were such a mug, a mug, a mug. Do you know what you are? You gimpy leg monster. You're a cripple, a cripple, a cripple. I realize that. Yes. I don't care. Look, that may be how my father did business, but we don't operate like that anymore. I'll get back to you. Rough morning? Not really. <laughs> Liar. It's your life now, Ledge, not your father's. It's hard to believe he's really dead. It was bad enough seeing him go to prison, but now... Don't think about it, Ledge. Don't think about anything right now. My God! Lana Lee! Lana Lee, you're... You're alive? Very much so, brother dearest. But uh, this is incredible. We thought... You thought you'd left me for dead after you pushed me into the Amazon River. Pushed you? What? Save it, Ledge. I know exactly what happened. Lana, that's absurd. We've been worried sick ever since you... Well, if it isn't the inimitable Ariella Mason. It's Ariella Whitfield now. We're married. Didn't waste any time, did you? It's been two years, Lana Lee. I mean, life goes on. For some of us. You can't seriously believe that I pushed you out of that boat. Of course he didn't. We've hoped and prayed. Ledge spent months searching for you. You know, Ariella, you never used to have the time of day for me. I'd appreciate it if you'd extend me the same courtesy now that I'm back from the dead. Lana, that's really uncalled for. I'll get to the point, Ledge. I'm here to take back what's mine. Well, of course, Lana. Whatever you... The company, Ledge. Spencer Whitfield was my father, too. I'm just as entitled as you, and I'm taking the company. How are your typing skills, Mrs. Whitfield? I just might be in the market for a good secretary. I'll be in touch. You sure you haven't been in here before? You look pretty familiar. Positive. New to Bayshore Valley? It's been a long time. Things have changed. They're about to change dramatically. What happened? I told him, Dr. Sanchez. He tried to deny what he did to me, but I... Calm down, dear. That's enough for today. There's got to be a way to nail him to the wall. What about those oil leases uh, you, you mentioned in the Gulf? Of course. What would I do without you, Doctor?
Lana Lee? I couldn't believe it when you called. What happened? I thought you I don't want to talk about it, Range. It's good to see you again. You look wonderful. So do you. Still living in that drafty penthouse? Still there. Still drafty. Range, if I told you I needed help in a way that would help you, too. Anything. You got it. How does chairman of Whitfield Enterprises sound to you? Sounds like your brother's job to me. Not for long. I've got dirt on Ledge Whitfield that will finish him. I just need to distract him long enough to get the evidence out of his office. Leave that to me, princess. Got a job for you, princess. What is it this time? Some business with an old flame. Ledge Whitfield. I never touched him. Well, that makes one. Bastard. By the time I'm through with him, I've got a hunch Ledge will be in need of some consolation. Does this have anything to do with that candy can of a wife of his? You shut up about Ariella. You have no right to even say her name, let alone my, start... My, my, speaking of flames, she's hardly your type, Cromwell. Oh, yeah? And what is my type? Stick to business. What's the plan? Just be here when I call. Oh. Mm. Um. Good, good. Range Cromwell will take Ledge out of the picture long enough for me to... Uh, for us um. to have a look at what he's hiding in his office safe. I just hope it's in there. Oh, it will be. Uh, where else would it be? Oh. Uh. Drive him right out of the business, out of his house and home, and take back what's rightfully... Yours. I've waited two long years for this, Dr. Sanchez. And I. But for now, my dear, relax. Are you feeling better? Yes, much. Thank you. Good. You deserve nothing but the best, Lana Lee. All the happiness in the world. I could tell that from the moment I first saw you. In the village? Yes, yes, in Brazil. So helpless, so vulnerable. I owe my life to you, Doctor. And now I will see to it that you get your revenge. You still come here? I'm waiting for Ledge. We're going to the concert. Very romantic. It is. And I wasn't? What did you want, Ariella? I would have done anything. Wasn't Rage, I good? please, there's nothing to say. Oh, there's plenty to say, Ariella. But I guess I could say it to your second husband instead. You wouldn't. Range, you promised. So did you. To love, to honor, Range, and to... Range, please, what do you want? I want you. Leave, Ledge, or I'll tell him the truth. That we were married. But... It's simple, Ariella. If I end it, he'll know that you lied to him all along. But if you leave him, it's our secret. We love each other, Range. It'll pass. Do it, Ariella, or I will. Lana Lee? I thought you were going to the concert in the park. Quarterly reports. Do you want to talk? I've got nothing to say to you. Then what are you doing here? I wanted to see Dad's old office. I miss him. I miss him, too. You sent him to die in prison. Prison is where he belonged. He was our father, Ledge. He brought it all on himself, Lana. I'm only sorry I didn't see the fraud and embezzlement sooner. Maybe I could have stopped it. Poor Ledge Whitfield, guardian of goodness and integrity. Don't do this, Lana. That's rich. After you tried to kill me, too. I looked for you for months. I hired every native guide in the entire Amazon base, and I... I couldn't stand the thought that you were gone. Is that why you ran home, to marry that third-rate cheerleader? That had nothing to do with you. It's not like you and I were... Were what, Ledge? You were everything to me. Gin and tonic. Number five. You're only hurting yourself. I had a father stump. Yeah, and now you've got Range Cromwell pushing you around, treating you like dirt. You deserve better, Raven. Damn right I do. And you could have it. Ledge, I... Oh, I'm sorry. To say the least, I was just going. Lana, wait. I'm sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. But I am. I'm sorry about everything. What are you talking about? I'm leaving, Ledge. I don't belong here. I don't belong with you. Ariella, this is... Don't, Ledge. It's for the best. Believe me. I'm sorry. I'm cutting you off, Ariel. Oh, come on, Stump. Here, you are 
Ride the Keymaster. I'm looking for a designated driver and a margarita. Can anybody here help me out? All right, I'm getting it. Hang on. Ha! By my fingernails. Come home, Ariella. Home? <laughs> Where the hell is that? Huh? I don't have a home anymore, remember? Your home is with me, as long as I'm alive. Oh, you want me back, Rach? Let me tell you something. I would live in the alley behind this bar before I would ever, ever give you another chance. See that exit sign, buddy? You can't just I throw... I think the lady said no. We'll see. The door was unlocked. Raven? In the flesh. I see that. Mind if I come in? What if I said no? Then I'd say you're a man who doesn't really know what he wants. Oh. A man who thinks he's got it all. Got the world by the tail. But there's one thing missing. And what's that? Mind if I sit down? Why not? You know, I can't think of a single good reason. Why not? Ledge Whitfield? I've got it. I found the oil field reports. They're pulling out twice as much oil as Ledge is reporting. He's skimming millions off the top. Perfect. He's ruined, Lana. Tomorrow he gets the ultimatum. Either he resigns and gives me the company, or I go straight to the board and let them throw him out. You think he'll go quietly? In a heartbeat. He'd never do anything to see his lily-white reputation soiled. Ariella, you all right? I oh, can't believe I did this. I love my husband. From what I've seen, he's a lucky guy. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, it's okay. Nobody knows you're here. I never should have left him. I have to go back. But if he ever found out about this... Don't worry. It's our secret. <laughs> Morning, sweetheart. Oh, my God. What time is it? Oh, does it matter? What have I done? Pants, then shoes, big guy. I've got to find her. A little late for that now, isn't it? I love her, Raven, more than anyone or anything else in this world. It's just the way it is. I'm sorry. Not half as sorry as you're going to be. What took you so long? Never you mind. Did you get the pictures? A few I think you'd like. Can you tell it's him? Every single little bit of him. Well, let's have him. Forget it, Range. I've got my own plans for these photos. You can't do this to me. Watch me. You think you can stop me? I'll get to Ledge Whitfield with or without you. I think you know your way out. I thought I might find you here. Darling, I... I'm so sorry. I don't know why no, I... No, Ledge, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters, except that you're back. But I... Shh. Let's just pretend that the last 24 hours never happened. Can we? And nothing is going to come between us ever again. Never, darling. Never. How sweet. Enjoy it while you can. They don't allow conjugal visits in federal prison. What? Finally, it's over, Ledge. I've got you. Go directly to jail. I've never seen these before. What were they doing in your office safe? Do I know you? This is Dr. Sanchez. He nursed me back from the accident. 
And he'll be sitting right beside me in court when the judge reads your sentence. This is absurd. Of course, you could make it easy on yourself. Resign quietly. Never. You could have had anything, Lana. All you had to do was ask. But instead, you cooked up this ridiculous scheme to blackmail me. It's all me. right here, Ledge, in black and white. I think you'd better go now. Both of you, get out. And you'd better start packing, dear. The house will be mine, too. So what do we do? Well, between the negatives you've got of Ledge and the monogrammed panties Ariella left behind the bar... Meanwhile, Lanley is going to take control of Whitfield Enterprises right out from under our noses. Not if we see to it Ledge wins, then. You and I take him for everything he's got. He'll try to cover his tracks, but with an injunction to freeze all the Whitfield records, call in Prescott, he'll file the papers. How do you know so much about all this? Well, isn't Prescott the name of the uh, lawyer you mentioned? I guess I did. Well, call him right away and... Range. Pardon me for eavesdropping, Doctor. But you do seem to know a great deal about the Whitfields' business. Keen observation, Mr. Cromwell. That's my job. Range, I'm so glad you're here. I'd never leave you alone to handle this with strangers, Lan Lee. I'd like to talk to Dr. Sanchez alone. I'll be right back. I've got news for you, Doctor. I'm taking over this deal, and the company, and anything else the Whitfields have. I'm afraid you've lost me. On the contrary, I think I've found you. And I think you're going to take me straight to the top. My obligation is to my client, sir. Yes, of course. Or shall we say, your daughter? You're quite insane, you know that. I'm not going to hear another... Sit down, doctor. I think we have a lot to talk about. We have nothing... Or shall to... I place a call to the prison warden? I understand he's been quite curious as to your whereabouts for the past couple of years. You've got nothing on me. Actually, I've got plenty. Records from the plastic surgeon, airline tickets to Brazil. You left quite a trail for a dead man. Or is it merely fugitive? Take your pick. There are a lot of people who just love to find out what really happened to you. Spencer Whitfield. Spencer Whitfield.